يا ايها الذين امنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاه ان الله مع الصابرين اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم committed Muslims, brothers, sisters, and youth in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. We are in the month of Ramadan and we would like to continue to look at some concepts uh, that are mentioned in the Quran that are important for our understanding in order to be able to comprehend the message of the Quran properly. There is a, an expression uh, that is used uh, in the Noble Quran repeatedly and it occurs approximately 90 times uh, in various surahs of the Quran and that is the expression Ya Ayyuhallazina Amanu. Now this expression is used for the first time in Surah Al-Baqarah in ayat number 153. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressing us says, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu sta'inu bis sabri wa salat, inna allaha ma'as sabirin. And of course, th there are beautiful ayats that follow after that, but let's uh, remain with this ayat and I'll explain that in a minute. But first, expressions, expressions similar to this are used even earlier, but at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not address us directly as Ya ayyuhallazina amanu. Allah says, for instance, again at the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allazina yu'minuna bil ghaib wa yuqimuna salata wa mimma razaknahum yunfikun wa lazina yu'minuna bima unzila ilayka wa ma unzila min qablik wa bil akhirati hum yukinun. So there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving a description of those that are in the category of mu'minun. Now, in the Quran, the word mu'min, mushrik, kafir, and munafiq are used many uh, in many different uh, surahs of the Quran. But today, I'd like to concentrate only on this expression, Allah zina amanu, so that we are clear about the category of people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing. Now, whenever this expression, Ya Ayyuhallazina Amanu, is mentioned, it is immediately followed by certain instructions from Allah. So, number one, Allah is addressing this very, very special category of people uh, that He refers to as Allazina Amanu. And who are these people? The word Amanu is linked to Iman, and Iman is linked with Aman and Amana. Now, amana, of course, we know means trust or covenant, and aman is peace. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us that, O oh, you who say that you have accepted the covenant of Allah, and therefore you will be in peace and security, that there are certain rules that you have to follow. So, Allah doesn't, in any ayat of the Quran, says, Ya ayyuhallazina aslamu. That means, O oh, you who say that you have become Muslims. Uh, of course, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directs uh, or addresses uh, the whole of humanity when he says, Ya ayyuhan nas, O people. But with respect to this special category of people that are referred to as Allah zina amanu, there are instructions that follow. So, for instance, we also know, being in the month of Ramadan, when Allah says, "Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim," Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu, kutiba alaykum al-siyamu, kama kutiba ala lazina min qablikum la allakum tattaqun. And so again, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala addressing us this special category of Allah lazina amanu, followed by instructions that we have to follow. Now the reason why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala refers to us as Allah lazina amanu is that these are committed Muslims. Now, what's the difference between a Muslim and a Mu'min? A Muslim is somebody who 
verbalizes his iman, but we don't know whether that iman has penetrated his heart. So it has to do with our heart being committed to Allah that puts us in the category of Allazina Amanu. And that's why there are so many instructions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, enjoins upon us following this designation. And so any time that we read the Quran, that we study the Quran, we should pay close attention to this expression. As I mentioned, this is mentioned at least 90 times in the Noble Quran, and it is always followed by specific instructions. And so we would do well to understand that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us this special honor by calling us as Allah Zina Amanu, then there are instructions that he uh, enjoins upon us and we are required to follow them. So I hope and pray inshallah that as we proceed in trying to understand the noble Quran, that we would understand that if we want to be in the category of Allah Zina Amanu or the covenant bearing Muslims, then we have to fulfill these obligations. And with that, what that means is that we have to understand the Quran in order to fulfill those obligations. I hope and pray, inshallah, that in this Ramadan we would make a greater effort to be able to understand uh, Allah's instructions to us. Thank you and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.